Billionaires are flying into outer space. Our planet is both on fire and flooding simultaneously. People are dying unnecessarily due to neglect. Fear of new conflicts in outer space arises every week. Inequality in the U.S. continues to grow wider. How can we make sense of all of this? We'll break down all of these issues in this video, but first, please hit that like button to support the channel, subscribe if you enjoy our content, and visit our website at spaceforpeace.org to learn more and to get involved. While the earth we all inhabit is slowly and surely being destroyed, many of us along with it, the billionaire class is off spending unnecessary trips in outer space. The newest international astronauts, the crew of New Shepard. Congratulations all four of you. But when these fat cats are building rocket systems, fighting for government contracts, and flying in zero gravity conditions, we must ask the question, who actually pays for all of this? The workers, the people, and our tax dollars. As soon as Jeff Bezos returned from his off-the-planet vacation, he immediately thanked all Amazon workers for helping him build this project of flying into space. I also I want to thank uh, every Amazon employee and every Amazon customer, because you guys paid for all of this. <laughs> so seriously, for every Amazon customer out there, and every Amazon employee, thank you from the bottom of my heart very much. Uh, it's very appreciated. Workers at Amazon have been driven to horrendous working conditions with little pay, and in some cases, having no bathroom breaks. The giant Amazon corporation produces huge amounts of wealth, which are produced from the workers, not Bezos, but he takes all the profit. So, yes, the workers at Amazon did pay for Bezos' trip into space. But in addition to that, U.S. taxpayers should be just as angry for not being thanked by Bezos because he actually dodged taxes, has taken public subsidies, skipped paying property taxes, strategically placed Amazon factories in states with no sales tax, and the list goes on and on. But what about Elon Musk? From 2014 to 2018, Elon's wealth grew by $13.9 billion. He reported a total income of $1.52 billion and paid $455 million in taxes. That's the true tax rate of 3.27%. The average single worker in the U.S. faced a net average tax rate of 22.4% in 2020. Hmm, poor people pay more taxes while rich people take luxury trips into outer space. We really are living in a sci-fi movie that has come to life. To be fair though, Elon did pay more taxes than Bezos, who had a true tax rate of 0.98%. What was the corporate tax rate in the first space race during the 1960s? Well, in 1961, corporate income taxes comprised 22% of the federal government's revenue. Nearly six years later in 2020, corporations have paid 6.6%. Anytime we see a billionaire fly into outer space and ignore the social, economic, political, and environmental issues on Earth, remember that the billionaire used stolen money for their own personal endeavors. This billionaire space race does represent a somewhat different approach to going out into space, namely that big capital is moving towards outer space. There is a common theme among these billionaires when we see them play with their expensive toys. Each of them claims they are doing something good for humanity. Elon says he is saving the human species by moving us, <coughs> him and other billionaires, off of a dying planet. Bezos says that all polluting industries will soon be transported out of our atmosphere. If they were to throw a little bit of language about our Christ, Lord, and Savior, I would begin thinking this is the new form of manifest destiny, where westward expansion moved to upward expansion. Again, 
All this rhetoric benefits capital, which is mainly in the hands of rich white men. Although the capitalist class say they are driven by a need to serve humanity, in reality they are doing what everyone in the world knows, seeking out new ways to build more wealth. After all, in their eyes, what's the point of a billion dollars if not to make another billion dollars, or another trillion? This new wealth will come in the form of mining asteroids and other objects floating around in space. Outer space is quickly transforming into a giant, giant commodity to be commercialized and geared towards generating profits from satellite launches, space tourism, asteroid mining, and much, much more. These endeavors will not benefit humanity, only the wealthy capitalist class. History has shown us this too many times. But the implications of this new space race are significant if you can look behind the pile of lies. Outer space as a global commons, which is laid out in international treaties, are being destroyed. Billionaires won't save us, the tax dollars used for billionaire space races is being stolen, and it could be used to solve social issues for the majority of the population of the entire planet. This new space race will bring with it new technology, and new energy, and new weapons. New technology is demanding a greater energy source, and many are pushing for nuclear energy. In 2021, the National Academies of Sciences said, Space nuclear propulsion and power systems have the potential to provide the United States with military advantages. And with a new military branch, the Space Force, tied with the billionaire space race, along with the U.S. imperialist perspective of dominating space, new weapons will be created to accompany this new age. An Air Force report from 1991 said, quote, New technologies will allow the fielding of space-based weapons of devastating effectiveness to be used to deliver energy and mass as force projection in tactical and strategic conflict. These advances will enable lasers with reasonable mass and cost to affect very many kills. Nearly 30 years later, the first Space Force weapon was received in 2020 called the Counter Communication Systems CCS Block 10.2. The CCS Block 10.2 satellite is a weapon that doesn't destroy enemy satellites, but can be used to interrupt enemy satellite communications and hinder enemy early warning systems meant to detect a US attack. In addition to this billionaire space race, it's being pushed as a privatized adventure, but it comes with the support of the public sector, like NASA, Space Force, the Department of Energy, our tax dollars, and much more. Again, this is just another way for our tax dollars to be used by individuals who place profit over people. The billionaire space race is nothing but a scam. With all of these forces combined, narrowing our focus on colonizing and dominating the global commons of outer space, this is surely a recipe for disaster. We already live in a world where the top 1% of the wealthiest in the US own just as much wealth as the bottom 80%. Inequality and conflict go hand in hand. Whether it's conflict between the human species and the environment, between the rich and the poor, between black and white, men and women, so on and so forth. It isn't the majority of the world who are driving us all down the path of destruction. It's only the 1% who are the ones with the decision-making power. So let's reverse the course of humanity towards a sustainable, equal world which lives in harmony with our planet and the universe. Mm -hmm.